I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I've got to say I'm delighted to be joined by the big man himself, Martin Bacoli. Martin, explain what is going on here. Explain it. Uh, thank you so much for coming down. Today we have a special uh, uh, interview today because uh, this is uh, my first time. You see me wearing like this, even in myself, first time to wear something like this in my life. So I feel honoured. I feel you know, I'm so proud of me and I'm so happy. To see me dressing like this today in the gym, mm -hmm. I knew you were coming, so I said, "No, let me bring my clothes." So um, uh, uh, I came back uh, last night, I think, coach. Yeah, I came back from Congo last night, so today my first training. Well, let's talk about the medal. Let me just get the medal in there. Let me zoom in. Explain why you received this medal from your, your, the Congolese government. Oh, because we deserve it. It's not only me, um, me and Junior, my brother. Mm -hmm. So I was surprised, you know, I'm in the, in the camp preparing for the next fight. But uh, I was surprised by my government called me, me and Junior, you now to honor us and they give us this medal that you see me wearing today. So like me and Junior, we are now na na nominated like a, a ambassador. So we're representing our country in the, in the boxing. So. We received these medals on the uh, uh, 17th uh, no, December. So I say thank you to my president and thank you to all Congolese who always support us. So we're here to make our country proud. Listen, Martin, let's make your country proud. There's only one medal that's still missing, though. It's that world title around your waist. When's it going to happen? Very soon, I think next year, because it's supposed to be this year, but people are not avoiding me. But I think next year, no more running, no more avoiding. So. Definitely 100% we're going to be a world champion. I want the big belt this side. Now I have this one here, small one here. So next year, 100%. Right now, I, I, I spoke to your, your your coach, Billy Nelson, there. And uh, when you look at the landscape of the heavyweight division, it's it's changing now because you, you've got Joe Joyce now. He's got himself in a position where he's talked about fight. Now he's he's in that conversation with Tyson Fury and Usyk. He's there. Daniel Dubois has been ordered by the WBA to face Usyk now. So these... Fringe world title guys, they're getting into position now. 2023, are you going to get yourself in a position where Mark McCauley's talked about with the Furies, the Joshua's, the Joyce's, or even the Dubois? Yeah, you know, you know, it's not first time to do uh, this and ask me this question. We always ask this question, and I always my answer always be positive because I always call this guy out. But no one wants to smoke, and uh, uh, me and my team we decided to go, you know, following step by step. And uh, very soon, like I'm now number two in the WBA, so uh, one fight close or one or two fights close to be mandatory, so nobody will run away because I make big mistake of spying these people and now they're avoiding me because they know what is going to happen in the fight. Daniel Dubois, I think, I believe, is number one. He's the mandatory now for Usyk. Now, Usyk's looking like he's going to face Tyson Fury. Dubois got a knee injury, we're hearing from his camp, right? But he will... It will be unlikely that he gets to face Usyk because Usyk will be facing Tyson Fury hopefully March, April time. Daniel Dubois is going to need a fight. You've been calling Daniel Dubois for a long time. Do you want Daniel Dubois next? It's not what I want. Before he take Kevin Johnson, uh, Kevin Arena, that fight supposed to be me. But his team contact, his promoter contact will say yes, but him, he say no. I don't know why because... <coughs> He knows uh, uh, what will happen. Look at uh, Kevin uh, Lerena's uh, school's weight, small everweight. Look what he did to him in the first round. Imagine that was Martin Bacall that night. So I don't think uh, he, will, he will say yes. So it's a big mistake and a big risk for him. He knew himself. Even not today, even in, after five, three, ten years, Dibon knows and he can't stand before me. He will get knockout, cold knockout, maybe stop his career. So he can't take that risk and he's avoiding, but no. We are now in a good position, number two, and is now champ. So if not spa, uh, fight Uzik or no fight someone else, so I'll be very soon. I'll be mandatory, so he will not run. Maybe maybe you just give up the belt and run away, or stay there and get knocked out. So you have two option. Martin, it's like these spawn stories. Is it's like almost sort of not wanting people to face you. 
Are you going to have to just take it easy when it comes to the spot now and just just let them beat you up a little bit so you can get these fights? I've I've been not surprised, you know. If it's sparring, I'm taking it easy. But now they're scared. I don't spar like I'm fighting. My coach know me and my coach, you know, we're a team. We know what we're doing. They're avoiding me. They're scared because they see what I've done to them in the sparring. But that's not nothing in the sparring. So they're asking themselves, this guy is not even giving 100% of himself in the sparring. But, you know, imagine the guys in the fight, so they're in big trouble. Of course, 100% they're in big trouble. So no more running. Uh, there was running because I was uh, now in uh, 15, 20. Now I'm in the ranking now, in a good position now. So my, my team are working hard to find me a big fight and uh, world title. Why not next year? Well, I want to talk about this so all like, 2019, I remember you were on a good, good run. You had four fights that year. Obviously, with the pandemic, it's been one fight every year. You've only had one fight in 2022, and that was a good win against Tony Yoka. So, 2023, are you hoping to keep it a busy year? Obviously, two or three fights maybe, and maybe a crack at a fringe world title or even a world title? Yeah, that question I think you ask could be lead and not other planning because me, my job is to box. So I can remember last time I, when I was with much room, I, fight, I boxed like a four, three times in, in a year. So me, I'm there to, to fight. Soon I, I know that I have a two, three fight, so I will work hard to stop you know, knock out. So soon you knock out someone in the first round, two rounds, so I still have uh, more time to prepare for the next one. So uh, me, I'm ready to face anytime, anyway. So. I'm ready to face, especially for the world title, Dubois. I know because some JoJo is now is focused on what they want to get Tyson Fury and make big money. You know that is the pay die, and uh, he, you know he can't take too risk with me because what he did with uh, Joseph Parker, and I don't think he was standing. And he can't even go that round with me. Uh, he can't take why he can't take that risk. But uh, I think my short way is a WBA, so Daniel Dubois is in a big trouble. He must be ready. I mean, if you, if for some magical reason, you do end up fighting Usyk in the future, you've got a southpaw opponent now in the gym. Yeah, you've got a big old Sultan ready to do some southpaw sparring for you. You happy with that? I'm so happy, so happy to see him. And the coach already talked to me about him, but I've not seen him punch. I've not seen him sparring, but my, I believe in my coach when he says something. So I need to see so a minute. Uh, I can say welcome to to our gym, so a quiet gym. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> only work here. <laughs> only work here. <laughs> we don't play here. We don't play boxing. Definitely, we don't play <laughs> boxing. Well done, Martin. Martin, again, I'm going to uh, congratulations on getting the medal from your Congolese government. I mean, it's a fantastic uh, accolade to go, but there's obviously that world title. You need that. I mean, your, your, your brother's got it. Martin Bacoli. Once Martin Bacoli gets it, I don't know if you'll become president of Cong Congo one day. Who knows? Who knows? But listen, have a good Christmas, mate. Train hard, and I'll see you in the new year. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming down. Anytime, Martin. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I'm going to share something with you that might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.